Hi everyone, it's Nisha. So today I thought I'd do chatty get ready with me and I was thinking, I saw on Instagram this gorgeous uh, photo of like a 90s supermodel makeup and I thought I will try to recreate it. <laughs> I will be using today my Rifa brush. They have sent me the remaining brushes because I think I only had four. I might have had doubles, but I had, I think, just four. Now I've got them all and they are wonderful. So I will be using today Tati Beauty and also the Affect Naturally Matte Palette. because 90s was mostly matte eyeshadow okay let's clip the hair i am wearing today raquel welch simmer clipped at the back this is my go-to hair and talking of that it's been such an amazing week last week um i know some of you watched it I was on Facebook Live, I was invited to uh, this new launch of Raquel Welch Fall 2020 collection, there were three wigs in it, um, I have reviewed them at the weekend so you might have seen it and I know some of you actually joined the Facebook Live so thank you so much for coming over, it was so much fun, I felt so honoured to be invited. I was there with the designers of the wigs, Frank and Kyle. Uh, Kyle is here in the UK, whereas Frank is in the US. It was just so much fun. It was like being at a party. So yeah, and it was so much out of my comfort zone because I had to model all the three wigs and one of them was really short. If you've seen the reviews, you saw it and I was so surprised that I actually liked it. I always thought that there isn't much you can do with short hair, but you can. So if you haven't seen um, the review video, have a look. Okay, let's start. So what we're going to do first is I am going to use brown pencil. This is the a tattoo liner from Maybelline in in bold brown and I am going to line my lash line sort of one third make it a bit messy here and I will immediately buff it out I'm going to use the Rifa number 12 maybe actually I do it on this eye so you can see better so you don't have to be very precise with it just make a blob and just blend it out in this corner that will make this outer corner darker and also will give it will give the eyeshadow solid base I'm going up with it and blending it inwards towards my, above my crease. So how are you all doing? I am fed up with how things are. The biggest problem is that you absolutely cannot get appointment with the doctor whatsoever i think it's disgusting um my husband really needs to go and uh, my husband has high blood pressure and he's on medication and he is due for a checkup to see if he needs his medication adjusted and he found the doctor no you have to do it online you don't even get to talk to them 
and then they reply to you with, with an email and she said oh I don't know you know if we can see you um, because of corona you know um, and what's that got to do with your local GP you know so she said that she might call him but she probably won't be able to see him and then he got an email from a receptionist saying that um, she made him appointment with a nurse and he's like I don't want to see a nurse to decide you know what dosage I should be taking for uh, for my condition I want to see the doctor so we don't know what's going to happen with that anyway I just think it's disgusting they're supposed to you know they've taken the oath do no harm they're supposed to help people but that is not happening right now okay so now I've got this base, I am going to take this eyeshadow, they don't have names, this is M0108 and I will take it on refund number 15 and I will just go a bit higher with it and so sort of right into my to where my eyebrow starts. So I'm just applying like a hue of colour here. I'm going to go a bit lower, right you know where you're um, orbital bonies don't have to be precise because we will cut it it looked like they sort of did it with a cut crease type of look now I'm going to take Rifa 14 this is beautiful pointy small brush that's so good for hooded eyes for um, your precise crease work and I will go into this dark brown this brown is so beautiful and I will just try to do a bit more precise line And you know, because my eyes also are turning downwards, I don't follow that. I go lift it up here to lift my eye. So with this line, you only go to about halfway, not right into your eyebrow like I did with the previous one. Okay, now I'm going to take um, like a concealer br brush. This is not Rifa one. I don't think I have a concealer one. No, just like a flat synthetic one. Actually, I might take this Lancome one. It's a bit stiffer. I'm going to take P. Louise Base. I just squeeze a bit of it on the back of my hand. And I'm going to try to cut crease here so basically I'm trying to make my mobile lid bigger because if I drop my eye you can't really see my mobile lid but if I go a bit higher like here that will give me the illusion that I have bigger mobile lid I don't know if you can see now this is a bit lighter can you see that light um, area looks a bit bigger than this one I 
you probably need to do it first with your um, eye eyebrows dropped so you can see exactly where you want it. I have so many folds here. I've got this fold here. So that, that is really where my natural crease is. Can you see where, where your mobile lid folds over? I think I should have used something a bit lighter. Can you see now you get this illusion that my mobile lid here is very big and now I'm going to take a Rifa 02 and I'm going to swap for now into Tati Beauty palette and I'm going to use the matte aura which is this really lovely creamy eyeshadow they are so pigmented, they give really nice and I'm just going to pat it onto this area where I cut it with the eye base. Can you see like how that pops? I'm going to go back to the Affect palette and again with this dark brown, I'm going to now shade the outer V. And for that, I will take again the Rifa O2. I would love another brush like this, that shape, but half the size of it, you know? So it would be a bit like my favorite Hulu P66 because I've got, you know, um, my eyes are so droopy here. I don't have much room here, so I need very small brush, but I've done it with this one and it's fine. So now I'm just going to shade the outer portion. I'm going to go quite high up because I want to lift the corners of my eyes. And then we will blend it a bit. So in between I'm going to go back to the Rifa 15 and just blend the edges upwards. With nothing else on that brush. We also have 16, which is the same shape, but a bit bigger. So another gorgeous blending brush, or you can use it um, you know, you could use it to set your powder under your eyes if you want to be very precise or for your um, highlighter. So that's another really good brush. I will maybe go through those brushes at the end because I might not use every single one. So I will go through them at the end. Okay, what was I doing? Blending. Blend, blend, blend. Now blend this here a bit into this white eyeshadow so you don't have like a definite line and I'm just going to keep doing it on my outer um, corner here till I get the depth that I want. And keep blending in between. Now with my favorite uh, for the lower lash line, the 03, I'm going again to the same dark eyeshadow and I'm going to apply it on my lower lash line. This brush 
is as if you were using a pencil but it's still very soft then what I will take another one uh, the number 12 I will go into this eyeshadow that I used it was the very first eyeshadow that I used and I will smudge that darker one with this one on my lower lash line. Now let's go back to Tati Aura and I am going to, where's my light brush? Here. And I'm going to apply it under my brow bone because that's what we did in 90s. Well, still doing it now, but I don't actually often do it. Now I'm going to go back to that brown pencil and just darken again just the outer bit and now I will use mascara I have two new mascaras so I have the Anastasia mascara I don't think this is uh, new on the market Lash Brag is called um, I love it when I can buy the little samples the sample size or travel size because you know I am very particular about mascaras and um, if you don't like it they usually are over 20 pounds so I like to try it first and I've got the new pillow talk push-up lashes from Charlotte Tilbury so I will do one on each eye and you will see I already know I absolutely love this one I've been using it, I, I like it even on its own, you know, I usually double up on my mascaras, I use one first to sort of brush through my lashes and then I use another one to make them thicker, but this one I like on, it, on its own. So on this eye I'm going to use the um, Charlotte Tilbury, this one's got very very strange brush, can you see, it's sort of flat that way and it has the bristles on both sides very very different and it's supposed to give you real you know push-up effect um, my lashes don't really need help with that but I like the brush because the bristles are very short and quite tightly packed so they go through every brush but I don't understand what is this flat side for maybe to like deposit the mascara on it I don't know yeah this is good it gives you thickness and it definitely pushes them up because you know I wasn't a fan of her first two mascaras oh this point is really good to do your bottom lashes hmm. yeah if you do it like this it's very good yeah, it's lovely. It's really good. I'll bring you closer. Okay, let's do on this eye. This brush is more of a normal brush, if you know what I mean. Yeah, it just looks like a regular brush. But this one is lovely as well. My lashes are not as good on this eye. I've got a gap here because they are going through the cycle. Yeah, so they are 
you get very similar effect like i said my lashes on this eye are not as good i've got a couple of gaps so but i can tell you that i like it because i've been using um this one this one is new so i haven't used it yeah very good both i like this mascara i have two new favorite mascaras okay so this is the look it's quite similar to what i do most of the time anyway i think it's just this um cutting that crease is a bit different and cutting a crease in hooded eyes is quite difficult let's do the lips of course we have to have a nice strong lip liner showing for 90s so I'm going to use the NYX Los Angeles lip liner. Then I will fill my lips a bit on the corners. Now I'm going to take this Ilamasca Rose Pout lipstick, apply it just in the middle. And pat it in so sort of blends in. And maybe for a bigger pout you want like a milky not glittery gloss and this is the uh, Wayne Goss in Tulip just in the middle the nice Turkish delight is good for that just for a bigger pout okay let me tell you now about the brushes so here is your number one number one is really nice fluffy brush very good for all over um, your lid eyeshadow then number two it's a bit denser and shorter that's the one that I used on um, on my outer V and then number three is this fine, fine pencil brush, which I love. Then you have number 12. To me, this is pencil brush. It's a bit fatter. It's like a bullet brush. And I like using that one to smudge my eyeshadow on my lower lash line. But it's equally good to work here on that outer corner. And then you've got your crease brushes. So you've got number 13. Uh, this one is a bit shorter and a bit denser and not as pointed. This one, again, if you want to deposit colour, because the denser the brush, the more colour it deposits, very good to work in your crease. And then number 14 is the one that is very slim and pointy. Again, absolutely wonderful for your precise crease. Then you've got number 15, which is your blending brush. Could be your um, crease brush as well if you want it a bit more blown out not very precise and then 16 is the same but just bigger and much more fluffy so you can use that for blending but like I said you can use it to set your powder uh, your concealer or you can use it for <laughs> sorry about that or you can use it for your highlighter I also have three face brushes I have a this huge bronzer brush which I love then I've got like an angled um, cheek brush and a smallish powder brush they are really really lovely I'm glad I've got like two sets of each I think 
so I don't have to wash them too often. Okay, my lovely, so this was my 90s model look, my attempt at it. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye.